Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. New Seiko releases. I cannot get to them all in one video. Um, I like to keep my videos short um, if I can. So I'm going to show you four new Seikos today. Um, and when I get to them, I'll do probably, a, I'm going to say at least two more videos uh, to show you them all. But if you want to see what we got, uh, head on over to our new arrivals page. If I remember, I'll link to the new arrivals page down below. Um, and you'll see all the new stuff. I would say there's about maybe close to 20 SKUs that came in. We'll get them. So today, today I'm doing this 38, 38 and a half millimeter solar diver. There's two versions of that one. And then I have two versions of Save the Ocean, Save the Ice, uh, Save the Ocean Antarctica versions with the cute little penguin feet on the dial. Uh, so adorable is a tuna and a monster. We will check, oh, you know what? Something that occurred to me on the Solar Divers that I was corrected on Instagram. They actually have sapphire crystals. When I made all the data for the listings, I automatically assumed that they were just hard legs, right? Because they're Seikos. And, you know, this is Seiko. We don't use sapphire unless they're really expensive. Um, and no, these two Solar Divers are sapphire. The Save the Oceans are not their hard legs. Um, but I thought that was really awesome. You could use your new sapphire tester. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, check out the Watch and Learn from over the weekend. One of my most popular videos ever, go figure. So I am wearing Islander ISL 39. This is the anthracite dial. Looks awesome. A new arrival for me. Certainly not a new watch though. This is a 6139. I finally did get one. I'll have to do a video on it. Um, no, it's not the golden pogue dial. It's a blue dial. Um, I love my blue, right? Um, but I did pick this up. Uh, it was, I kind of, I traded for it. A guy wanted an SKX. I very rarely do this. Um, he admitted it didn't work. I took it. I sent it out. Uh, I took about three months, three months to, for it to be fully overhauled, but it's here. It works. It's awesome. I love it. Anyway, Let's uh, check out the new releases. So I am going to start off talking about the uh, the two new solar additions um, to the USA market. I think there were two others, but I don't think they hit USA shores officially. So we have the black dial on rubber, and we have the patty version on steel. Nice little play of black and blue, and a cool patterning to the dial. SNE 573, yep, and SNE 575. In case I forget, so the one on rubber is going to be 475, and the one on steel is 495. As usual, they are roughly the same watch, just differing slightly in color and execution. Um, I should just caveat the whole entire presentation, and this is going to go for all four videos, um, or, or all the new Seiko videos. My stock on everything is limited. If you watch the video and an hour later you go to buy it and it's sold out, don't be upset. I will get them again. Um, I am limited in what I am permitted to buy as new releases um, because unfortunately it seems I sell too much stuff sometimes. So this is the 38, 38 now Sega calls it 30 and a half millimeter. I measured it really as like a 38, but let's go with their number for now. 30 and a half millimeter in diameter is 11 thick to a flat sapphire crystal. Now, it doesn't appear to be any AR, by the way, but just a flat sapphire. We are 46 lug tip to lug tip. Nice holes for easy strap changes. Of course, we're gonna be looking at a 20 millimeter lug. Uh, so very nice, your options there are limitless. Um, I don't know if any bracelets fit this yet, curved end bracelets, probably not my guess, but anyway. Um, but let's look at this new rubber strap. This is a strap that I can say I kind of haven't seen before. The uh, R02C 20 millimeter strap that I'm used to is a, is a different profile than this. This is really nice. So maybe this will be a strap you'll see in the store eventually for Seiko's. Nice thick metal keeper as usual. But just a, it's a very supple strap. It feels very good, um, very bendable and stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's look at the case back, right? So it is a dive watch. So we have the Seiko Wave uh, Divers Watch. 200 meters of water resistance, stainless steel, sapphire crystal. The movement is from Japan. So what is the movement? It is a V147 solar quartz. It lasts about 10 months on a full charge, which is really awesome. Of course, on the hands and markers is Lumabrite, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, I think I discussed most of the exciting stuff. Yeah. 
Now uh, we're looking at an 80 gram watch. I'm starting to weigh all my new arrivals and when I remember I put them in, in the description. So 80 grams with the strap, screw down crown, unscrew it, pull it out, you know, change the time, change the date. Push in, screw down for your full 200 meters of water resistance, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. The insert appears to be um, aluminum, I'm fairly certain. But hey, you do get a sapphire crystal, so I know some of you will be excited and some of you will say big whoop de do. Um, well, looks really nice. I dig it. Let's see. So let's go on to, we'll do a loom shot on both of these in a minute. So this is now the uh, five. SNE575. So on the bracelet, it weighs about, believe it or not, another 70 grams because the bracelet's pretty heavy. 151 grams on the bracelet. Now, this is the patty version. Um, it looks like they're only charging a premium, though, for the bracelet. It does bear the patty marking, and then look at that nice, uh, you know, almost like lines of latitude or longitude, that globe pattern on the black dial. Looks really cool. Um, check out Instagram. Um, I took a great photo of it. Uh, it really lights up nicely in the day. The insert now is done in blue from the important 0 to 15. And then the rest of it is done in this grayish color. Uh, still an aluminum insert with the pip at the 12 screw down crown. 120 clicks on the bezel. Oh, there's not that much different about it. Same same case back. They labeled this one as special edition, obviously, because it is um, the patty version. Hollow end link bracelet. Looks like uh, it does look like pins and collars on the bracelet. It looks like them, yeah. Uh, four position micro adjust clasp. It does have a diver's extension. I think all Seiko patty divers do right there. That's the micro. Standard stuff, right? Uh, it's got the patty tag, da, 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 da. and that's that. So um, you know what? Let's save the loom. Actually, let's get let's go through the other two, and then we'll do the loom. You know, which one did you come for? Did you come for the Antarctica versions, or did you come for the thirty and a half millimeter solar versions? I really don't know. I think uh, I, I think people are going to really really dig in both. I am not a fan of the tuna, one hundred percent. But I actually don't really mind this guy. It looks really nice, and the size is great. This is SRPG 59, another new release. This is, again, Save the Ocean, special edition right there. This is Antarctica we're saving. And if you look really close at the, on the dial, to, on the left side, is a set of penguin tracks. How cute. I think it was Chili Willy. If you remember Chili Willy, give me a like. Uh, so let's see, uh, 43 millimeters in diameter, and it is 13 thick. We are definitely looking at a hardlex crystal now, 13 thick to a hardlex crystal flat. Now, because it's a tunic case, though, we're extremely squat on the lug to lug at 44 millimeters, drilled bars for strap changes. We are looking at that same 20 millimeter strap, but now it's done in this. It's not white. It's like gray. I mean, it works. It works amazingly well with the watch. And the buckle is brushed, and the keeper, that nice thick Seiko keeper. Uh, let's see, the movement in this is clearly a uh, 4R35, it's a date only, automatic hand winds hacks. Screw down crown is tucked over here, unscrew it. You can wind the watch, you can pull it out, you can change the time, and then one click out would change the date. Screw down and turn for your full. 200 meters of water resistance, uh, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel, really nice. It looks like it is a, um, it's a, it's, oh, so it's a steel bezel. It might still be an aluminum insert. There is an insert there. It matches fairly well with the bezel itself. Okay. Uh, price. Oh, uh, four something. Oh, five. Oh, sorry. <laughs> five fifty for this guy. Pricey. Eh. It's up, you know, it's up for you guys to decide. Really sweet looking, beautiful case, nice screws on the side. Love it, love the Penguin tracks. Seiko really makes amazing dials. You cannot take that away from them. And let's go on to, oh, weight on this guy, 103 grams. Let's go on to this guy. This is the SRPG 57. So now we are looking at the Monster version. Same Save the Ocean Antarctica dial, okay? We are looking at a 42 tower monster case land, 42 millimeter case, 13 thick, 48 tip to tip drilled lug holes, 
20 millimeter bracelet, you know, nice solid end link, solid link bracelet, definitely pins and collars, your Seiko deployant with your diver's extension, day and date, 4R36, hand winds, hacks, 24 jewels, 40 hours of power reserve, it's all the same stuff, beautiful, 120 click, unidirectional ratcheting bezel, dun, 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 dun. and it just looks amazing this guy srpg 57 is 525 isn't that funny this guy is actually less than this guy i think it's owing to the a lot of the case detail here i mean you think the bracelet would throw this one more expensive than this one but it's not um i guess i'm again i'm guessing just because it's all the case detail that they have to work out there rather than this one piece case um, really really sweet same penguin tracks across the dial Guys, this looks really, really nice. Beautiful. I'm going to shut out the lights and we'll do a loom test. They're all gonna glow really well. I'll go through them quickly. The monster first, the tuna, the patty on bracelet and the patty on rubber, the same exact thing. I kind of wish they would have done something on the patty. They did it on some of the other patty editions um, where I think the minute hand was blue loom. It looked really nice. Um, but other than that, guys, you really can't complain anything about the loom here. So first I will try on one, I can try on both, just one of the Seiko Solars. There it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. 38 and a half, 38 millimeters is a beauty to wear. Uh, what was the lug tip to lug tip? I already threw my notes over here. 40, 46 on the lug tip to lug tip. Fits me great. This is going to fit so many wrists. And Seiko answers the call um, for a smaller dive watch. Uh, great job. And then again, I wore this guy on Instagram. This thing, 43, 44 millimeter. Uh, it fits me awesome. It is beautiful. Love that blue dial. Love what they did with the strap. Uh, man, everything about this watch. Woof. Check that out. I really think they have an amazing, amazing winner. Um, every time Seiko does a little less of new releases, it was kind of like, eh. You know, it was during a tough time tough time uh, in, the, in world economics. But things are opening back up, and wow, they had some knockout designs while, they were, uh, while their doors were shuttered. And a monster is a monster. Uh, did I mention the weight on this guy? 187 grams with the bracelet. Um, you guys know how monsters fit on your wrist by now. Probably most of you do. It's the classic monster case. Uh, works very, very well. On a variety of wrists, you know, at this point a monster is really no longer a monster in today's times. But it's still, uh, look at that, look at that dial. Still looks amazing. And that is going to do it. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you oh, four new Seikos. The fourth one already disappeared. Get back here, guy. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel uh, if you have not. Questions and comments go below. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. More Seiko new release videos are coming. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.